Well, hi there. I'm here today with the cutest turtles you've ever seen in your whole life, and these aren't even them. So you're gonna have to stick around for a minute if you wanna see what else I've got with me today. But what I have right here are mud musk and stink pot turtles. For most people, these are probably the very best pet turtles, at least aquatic turtles, you could possibly get. Even though these guys look pretty boring sitting here on land, in the water, they are completely different. They are so fun to watch and interact with, and they're very, very interactive creatures. When they see you come into the room, bam, they'll be right up against the side, like, do you have any food for me? Are you gonna feed me today? It's the greatest thing you've ever watched in your life. They will explore and cruise around. They are active almost all the time, unless they're up sunbathing. And even when they're up there, they got their feet out, like, ooh, this is a good place to be. I love watching aquatic turtles. They are one of the most fun reptiles to watch, for sure. And these guys are no exception. And that's why they've already shown up on our video of five of the best pet turtles you could possibly get. It's also why they were on our video, top five pet reptiles for kids, because these are really great pet reptiles. But are they the right pet reptile for you? Overall, we give mud, musk, and stink pot turtles a score of four out of five. And that'll come down to our five categories, which are handleability, care, hardiness, availability, and upfront costs. So let's start with handleability. For handleability, we give mud, musk, and stink pot turtles a score of four out of five. Really, the only reason they don't get a five out of five is because they can bite, and if they do, they bite hard for a little turtle. They got powerful little jaws and pretty big heads for a small turtle, and so it hurts like the dickens. However, being a turtle, it is pretty easy to avoid that bite if you know where and how to hold them, and you can learn this pretty quickly, hopefully not the hard way. Once you know how to hold them, they're actually really easy to hold. They're not gonna tear you up because you can hold them so they can't even get you with their little legs. They can, they can whip over their shell and bite you, but not if you hold back a little ways on the shell. They're just super easy to handle because they're small. It's like handling a rock that might bite. And they're also very durable for such little guys, which is good, you know, like a little kid or something is probably not gonna squeeze them too hard or, or hurt them. Drops would be the biggest thing to watch out for. Just make sure they don't get dropped and they'll probably be just fine. When it comes to care, we give these guys a four out of five. The worst thing about these guys is that they're a water turtle and water turtles need water, which means you gotta deal with filters and heaters and water changes and just the general pain of having an aquarium. Other than that, they're really just great. They feed really well on commercially available canned turtle food diets. Uh, on top of that, you're gonna wanna add a few insects and a, maybe a few fish. I wouldn't really recommend goldfish as they can be really high in thymine, but uh, a lot of commercially available feeder fish would be great on occasion. Another really wonderful thing about them is they can go a long time without eating. And so as long as you have their enclosure set up right and you got enough water and stuff, you could actually leave them for several days, you know, even over a week probably, if you went on vacation or something and they would be just fine. When it comes to hardiness, you gonna bite me? See, you just gotta know how to hold them and you won't have any problems. If I didn't know how to hold them, if I was, you know, choking up up here, I might have an experience to share with y'all, but I'm gonna hold them back here. Good to go. When it comes to hardiness, we give these guys a score of five out of five. Honestly, you know, if you set up the aquarium right, if you have the right temperatures in the water and the right kind of basking spot, these guys are just gonna thrive for you. They're just great. Animals just don't get any tougher than most turtles, and these guys are no exception. When it comes to availability, though, we give these guys a score of three out of five. They can be found, you just need to know how to look. And that's speaking for most places. You can look at expos, breeders, online. Ours actually come to us from Great Basin Serpentarium. They ship all over the United States, so if you're in the continental United States, you can get one of these guys right from Great Basin Serpentarium. The downside is you do need to know your local laws. A long time ago, they used to sell baby turtles in every store, pretty much in America, and most of them were sold to people who had no idea what they were doing, and they all died. And so people tried to stop that, and so one of the ways 
that they stopped this is by passing legislation that made it so you couldn't sell a turtle under four inches in length. If you'll notice, some of these guys, these are adults, they're not four inches now, which means in some places, places that are really strict about those laws, and some places are not strict about these laws at all, but in places that are, a lot of these will never get big enough to sell. And even those that do get big enough, you're only going to be able to buy adults. And, and this is relevant because I want to show you the babies. I told you I had some crazy cute turtles for you, so gear up. You better buckle in for this one. So I told you these guys are small as adults. Just imagine what they look like as babies. These are the cutest things maybe that I have ever seen ever. Don't tell my children. I cannot believe how little that turtle is. It's like the size of a dime. This one's a year old. It's like the size of a quarter. These are nowhere close to four inches. This one will never get four inches long. And this one, it will be like a decade before it gets that big. Which means if places uphold those four inch laws, these aren't going to be available at all or only as adults. And that stinks. When it comes to upfront costs, we give these guys a score of four out of five. As long as you can legally buy one, the turtles themselves tend to be fairly inexpensive. The enclosure, for the enclosure of a water turtle, which, you know, isn't super cheap, but for a water turtle, these guys are super cheap to house because they're little and their enclosure just doesn't need to be as big, which means their filters don't need to be as big, their heaters don't need to be as big, nothing needs to be as big because, gosh, they're tiny. They will need a heater, they're gonna need a filter, they're gonna need basking lights, which means UVA and UVB basking lights, so these things are somewhat expensive, but for a water turtle, this is as cheap as it's gonna get. And that is why, overall, we give mud musk and stink pot turtles a score of four out of five. If you want an active, inquisitive, tough little turtle that will never get very big, and so it won't take too much money, and it won't take too much space, then you can't do any better than mud musk and stink pot turtles. They might just be the perfect pet turtle for you. As always, like and subscribe. Make sure you click the little bell so that you get a notification whenever one of our new videos comes out. And we hope to see you real soon. It's so cute. It's so cute. Holy cow. Michelle's almost in tears. Look how cute. <laughs> so this one's a razorback mud turtle. This one's a stink pot, also known as a musk turtle. And this one is a three striped mud turtle. But they're all pretty much the same as far as their care goes, so it just pretty much comes down to the look and the size that they get to. Some are a little bit bigger than others, but they're all pretty small. Care, hardiness, availability, and upfront costs. Wrong hand, right list. And that, hopefully you'll be able to suck. Hopefully you'll be able to decide the answer to that question, and hopefully you'll be able to determine that based on our five categories. Man, I am two for two! When it comes to upfront cost, look at this thing. Are you seeing this? This is crazy small. I mean, the egg that that came out of had to come out of this turtle. So you can imagine it, but I can't imagine it. Oh my goodness. Look at those little eyeballs. You can bite me if you want. I would just like to see it. Probably about every time we make a video, Nice shot. 